Hi everyone, we're Hi. back. Uh, sorry it's been so long since our last video. We just had a really busy summer, but uh, today we wanted to show you um, how to make a shaker card using the Project Life Heidi Swap Overlay Kit. This one you can find at Michael's. It's usually about $15, but you can use your 40 or 50% off coupon. I'm not, we're not going to go too much into um, each of the individual uh, pieces um, because I think there's a lot of videos on that already. But basically you get, um, that comes in two sizes. There's the thir three by four cards. Um, they're just clear um, overlays. Um, there's also 24 four by six cards. They have these ones that have a border on it. They call those slide cards there's four of each size and it also comes with 44 chipboard embellishments that, that correspond just some examples of some cards that we have made uh, here's one this one uses the enjoy this um, overlay it's a shaker card we um, used the the paper is from Maggie Holmes it was the one of those um, hot by a paper paper packs from Michaels and then we just use some um, Stampin' Up! cardstock in the back and then some sequins and um, chipboard piece or uh, wood veneer pieces. Um, this is another one. This one is using the larger 4x6 overlay. We cut it down to size. Um, we use one of the uh, pieces of the uh, one of the chipboard embellishments there. And then this one uses the um, one of the slide cards so it came with the um, frame around it already so this one was really super quick and easy it already had you know the outside card and it had the heart on there so we just stamped a sentiment inside put some sequins um, put that down on some with some foam uh, tape and then we just tied a pretty gold bow and tied it to the side but that was like a super quick and easy card so for today's card we're going to be using uh, this overlay I pre-cut some paper. Um, this one we're going to cut a border from. This is from the KI paper pad. Um, this one was $1.29 from Tuesday morning, but it has some cute bright papers. Um, also, since it is a pop-up card, just to make it sturdier, we're using some of this uh, Bristol paper. This is the Canson Extra Large Bristol paper. It's just a big pad that um, has 96 pound paper. Just make the card more sturdy. Um, we, I, we cut a smaller card um, to stamp on um, be, that we're going to put behind the overlay. Um, this inside panel is three and a half by four and a half inches. These outer pieces were three and three quarters inches by four and three quarters inches. First, we're going to um, glue the um, cardstock, um, the paper to the cardstock. This is using the Zig two way glue pen. This is the jumbo tip, so we'll just cover the whole surface. Okay, so we'll just stick that together. Okay, now we're going to run it through the Big Shot machine. We're going to be using um, the Spellbinders die. This is the Artist Trading Card um, dies. We're going to be using the largest one from the set. Um, this one, the um, opening of the largest one is two and a half by three and a half inches. So we're going to just <clears throat> put that in place. run that through. Since it's pretty thick, I think we'll run it back through just to make sure it cut. Okay, so we'll take that off. Oops. We could save the inner part for another project. We're going to use the Mama Elephant um, Panda Bear and the envelope. This is from the Pandemonium stamp set. And the Hero Arts just enough. And we'll be stamping it with VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. So, just to kind of put, do the placement of these, I'm going to place the 
images, um, stamps the stamping side down and just kind of put them in place where we want them. Like that. And then we'll just put the block on top and it'll stick. So now it's ready to stamp and it's in the position that we want it. So we're going to just ink that up with the VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. And this will just be a practice one just to make sure it's stamping the way we want it. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And then we're going to stamp the envelope um, afterwards. Okay, so now we're going to stamp up our real copy. So let's get some ink on there. So now let's put the envelope in his hand. So I put the envelope on the block and I'm going to just kind of stamp that in his hand. Placing like this. Okay, looks good. Now we'll have, it'd be, I think it'd be kind of cute if it was colored in, so we'll just have Alley color in the heart with the red Sharpie marker. Okay, so now we need to, we're going to attach the frame to the, so we'll just put a strip of ATG tape around opening. Let's see. Okay. And it's going to be a little bit hard to see, but that looks right. Like that. Okay. So these overlays, um, they come with the clear backing, so we'll have we'll pull that off. I think that's just to keep it from. Okay, so now we need to put some foam tape around the edge. So we're going to use this Scott permanent mounting tape. Um, it's a half inch roll and it's 75 inches long. Okay, so we're going to be using this tape and we're going to be putting it along the edges here. So what, usually what I do is kind of measure out about how long it needs to be. Snip it like that. And um, I like to double it up um, just so that there's more room for the sequins and things to shake inside. So I'm just going to stick the sticky sides together on that. And cut that. And then just to kind of conserve our tape, I'm just going to cut it down the middle. So then we'll have one piece for this edge and one piece for that edge. Okay, just like that. Okay, so now we have, and I already pre cut the other sides. So we'll go ahead and put those on. So you want to make sure there's no gaps or openings so none of the sequins or things are going to escape. Okay, so it's going to look like that. Okay, so now, it's sort of where we're at right now. Okay, so now we're going to fill, um, just put what we want in this general area here. So we're going to use some of these star confetti and also some of these freckled fawn wood chips. These are stars and such, but we'll just be using some of these shapes. We're just going to add it to the middle. So we'll just add those to the middle. So these stars are really fun, but they do get everywhere. Okay. Okay. So once that's all laid out, I usually like to make sure they're not doubled up or 
but just generally keep them in the middle. Okay, so sometimes, I, you know, I don't know if this helps or not, but um, sometimes the sequins and things will stick to the plastic of the overlay. So I just like to just kind of wipe it down with a dryer sheet just to kind of remove some of that static. And it also kind of just polishes um, the overlay. Okay, so now it's ready. We're going to add it right on top. So we just need to pull off these backings. Okay, so now we're just going to add that to the top. And just push it down to make sure all of that is stuck on good. Okay, so we're going to be adding the card to the card base. I thought it'd be cute to have a little bit of twine maybe at the bottom. So this is just some American Crafts uh, Premium Ribbon. Um, this Baker's Twine. This is the pink color. Just cut that there. Okay, so we're just going to wrap that around a couple of times like this. And then just tie a little bow here on the side. Finger there. Okay. Just kind of make that a little bit neater. Okay. So maybe just a high here. Th these are some of the chipboard pieces from the kit. So we'll just put some ATG on there. So now we're going to just add this to our card base. So we're just going to put some ATG tape all around the back side. Maybe just stick a few more right in here. Since it's a little bit heavier, just want to make sure the card's going to stay on well. Okay. So we'll make sure our card's opening the way we want it. We're going to center it, center it right on there. There you go. It's real quick and easy shaker card. You know, it's something fun. It's just like an, another use for the Heidi Swap Project Life kit. These overlays are so colorful and pretty. Um, it just makes a really cute card. So um, there's a lot of other sentiments in the pack. You know, they say live it up or uh, celebrate today. These, these would be like good birthday cards or things, but these would be quick and easy. All, all you would have to do is put the foam tape around here, fill it with whatever you'd like, and then, then just put it down and you, you would have a really quick and easy card. There's some really cute sayings. There's some that just have patterns. This one says sweet. There's a congrats. You could make a really cute wedding or um, some type of celebratory um, card there. Good times. Um, this is the one that we used before. It said home, and then we just put a heart that said love from home. Um, but lots of, you know, things that you could do with it. So if you have this kit, um, just wanted to show you some other uses on what, what you can do. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we um, hope to see some of the projects that you made with this. And just, you know, if you have any questions or comments, uh, just leave them uh, below for us. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye.